welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this makeup look right here using all drugstore makeup, you guys. Everything on the face is affordable, except for my brows. Except for my brows. My brows are out. My brows are actually already done in the video. Um, actually, let me know what you guys think about my brows. I actually did like a micro bladed effect using the Glossier Brow Flick. And I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I feel like it's nice. It looks super natural. They're not as intense as always. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, but anyways, today's video is super exciting. A lot of the stuff that I'm actually using today to create this look are things that I haven't used before. So it's super exciting. It's almost like a first impressions and a full face affordable makeup in one so it's gonna be a super exciting video it's probably gonna be a long one as well so make sure you grab yourself a snack girl and I did want to mention really quickly that I know that the mic is making noise so I apologize you guys just work with me I actually did order a brand new mic yesterday so it is on its way but of course we're in quarantine with everything going on shipping takes forever at the moment but it is coming so please just bear with me but of course and nonetheless I still hope you guys enjoy today's video and we're gonna get into it because girl we got a lot of stuff to try we're gonna be trying from the eyes to the face to the lips I'm super excited so before we get into the video please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not already and of course without further ado if you guys would like to see how I created this full face of only affordable makeup then just keep on watching Okay, so I quickly went ahead and just zoomed you guys in. That way you can see the eye makeup pretty well. So for the eyes, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. These are called the Bite Size Eyeshadows. And I have a few here, so I'm going to just show you guys really quickly what they look like. So this one right here is called Truffle. It's actually really, really pretty. These look really promising, and I've heard great things about them. So that's Truffle. And then I also picked up Berry Bad. This is very bad right here. Mine is a little bit cracked, but it was the only one that they had left. Here's what that one looks like. Super pretty. Here's what Pumpkin Pie looks like. Super, super nice and warm. I'm living for these shades. And then the last one that I got is Carnival Candy. And here's what that one looks like. This blue right over here is so stunning, you guys. So for today, I think I'm going to stick with just using two um, and then hopefully in the future we can do another look and using one of the other ones. Um, but I'm going to stick to these two, which are pumpkin, pumpkin pie, and bite size. So here's what these two look like. I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is a beautiful like brown color. And I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush, not too fluffy. This is the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe JH33 brush. And I'm just going to start to work this into the crease, of course. Oh, wow, for an e.l.f. eyeshadow, that is pretty pigmented, and it's blending really, really well. The shade I'm going to be using is from the Pumpkin Pie palette. I'm going to go in with this color right over here, and I'm going to put that in the crease as well. And this color is just a little bit deeper than the um, shade than the first color that we put. I'm going to go in with this shimmer right here just to put it all over the lid. So this look is super simple, super easy. There's no cutting the crease. I'm just taking that shimmer and putting it all over the lid. Okay, you guys, so here are the eyes all completed. Overall, the e.l.f. eyeshadows were amazing. I did have quite a bit of fallout once I was done doing my eyes, but you guys, honestly, for a $3 eyeshadow palette, girl, I'm not even worried about fallout. And honestly, I never do my eyes before my base makeup. It's really rare that I mind any type of fallout. We're going to move on to prep my skin. I'm going to be going in with the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. This is what the mist looks like right here. I've actually never tried anything from Pixie, so I'm really excited. So I'm going to give myself a good spritz of this. And then for primer today, I actually have two new primers. I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Primer Serum, which looks like this. And it's actually super intriguing. Um, it looks like it has shimmer in it. I also have the Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating and Illuminating Primer, which looks like this right here. So 
I don't know which one I want to use today. I think I'm going to go in with this one. So yeah, I'm going to stick with the Revlon one today. So this one's actually really nice. It actually comes with a dropper that just looks like this. Honestly, the dropper is so long, you guys, and it doesn't even pick up that much product. Like, this is how long the dropper is, and this is how much product it actually picks up. Okay, so I went ahead and just put that all over my skin. Now let's just blend it out. Doesn't really have a scent to it. So this feels nice. It feels really hydrating. It almost feels like I'm putting water on my skin. Typically, if I'm going for a more hydrating primer, I just prefer something that's a little bit thicker. Um, more like on the moisturizer consistency side. Um, but this is not bad. It is pretty. It did obviously give my skin a really, really beautiful glow. It doesn't feel heavy. I don't see any glitter either when I'm actually looking up close. And it does give you, like, I don't know if you guys can see that, a little bit of a tacky finish, which is nice because that means that it's going to stick to your foundation really well. So, I mean, okay, Revlon, I am down for that. So for foundation today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This is a 24-hour foundation. I have used this before, but I needed a different shade. So today I have the shade 425, which looks like this. And then I have the shade 455, which looks like this. And for some reason, your camera will wash you out, girl, because it washes me out. There's times that I'm doing my foundation on camera and I'm like I do not look that pale in person like my foundation doesn't look that pale but on camera it will so I think I'm actually going to just take a pump of each and kind of mix them together and see how that works so of course it comes with a pump which is amazing and I'm gonna take a little bit of 425 and a little bit of 455 and I'm just gonna put both of those on the back of my hand and this foundation is a very watery consistency so I would show you guys what it looks like but it's going to run down my hand so I'm just gonna mix these two together here's the color with those two shades mixed together it looks pretty good I mean from here it looks pretty good in person it looks pretty good we don't know how it's gonna look on camera so this foundation is full coverage um, it is supposed to be a 24 hour wear foundation which I will never have my makeup on for 24 hours um, I just can't imagine having makeup on my skin for that long but I really love this foundation you guys it gives you such beautiful coverage without looking too heavy too cakey it is really, really nice and did you guys just see how easily that blended out like yes i also quickly want to mention to you guys that this foundation dries very very quickly so you want to either work in sections or just girl pat it out as fast as you can because it does dry super fast okay you guys so here's the foundation here's what it looks like and obviously just like i said before it just it looks so weird like i'm kind of messing around with the settings on my camera right now so i mean girl i'm trying my best i still feel like it needs a little bit more warmth um, or I need to get a warm, like warm lighting just to kind of balance out the white lighting that I have going on now. So for now, trust me when I tell you that it looks good in person. It does completely match my neck, I promise. So we're going to move on to concealer. So I've had these for a while and I have not tried them yet. These are the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealers. Here's what they look like right here. And you guys, I went on a hunt okay a hunt for these when they came out and I've got them I was so excited and then I put them in my collection and I never used them so we're gonna be using them today I got two shades I have light peach and fair warm I think the light peach is gonna be perfect so I'm just gonna open this baby up I'm just gonna put a little bit because I don't know how much coverage this has I also have the original camel concealer which is more of the matte version of this concealer that's the one with the black cap and I've actually never tried that one before so I don't know how much coverage these have. So I'm going to put that for now. Okay, so the concealer is blending out actually really nicely. And this color is perfect. I like a super bright under eye. I know it's not for everyone, but I personally enjoy it. Wow, I have been missing out. This is really nice. It blended so well. It looks so smooth. This is really nice. This is nicer than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Okay, so here's the concealer blended out on both eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and set with my powder. So, of course, I'm going to take it on that same damp sponge. And I like to just press it into the skin. I'm also just quickly going to set my chin and my nose. 
and I know it looks so crazy right now you guys because I just have like this super highlighted area but trust me once I do bronzer and blush and the lower lash line everything kind of comes together so this is that point in your makeup routine or rather in my makeup routine where I'm like girl you gotta just trust the process okay just trust the process okay so to set the rest of my face I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder this is what the powder looks like right here I love this powder I always have one in my collection if any of you out there who have normal to dry skin want to try a good drugstore powder and you've seen this one and you're scared to use it because you think it's going to dry you out, it's definitely not going to do that. Okay, so my face is nice and set. So we're going to go ahead and go in with some bronzer because, girl, I am looking pale. So this is the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. This is their waterproof bronzing powder and this one is in the shade Sun Bronze. Actually, fun fact, when I first started getting into makeup, I actually used to use this bronzer. Okay, so I'm going to be using a bigger brush today. I'm going to be using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush. This is the JH02 brush to apply my bronzer because I want like that nice sun-kissed glow. So of course, I'm going to tap off the excess and I'm just going to apply that to the cheeks. Oh, this is pretty. I actually really like this brush for bronzing too. I usually use like a smaller brush, something more precise, but this just gets the job done so quickly and easily. And I feel like it gives you the perfect amount of bronzer because even though it's so big and fluffy, it's very tapered. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this. Okay guys, so here's the bronzer. It's actually really pretty. What do you guys think? I think it gives me nice color, but it's not too dark, not too muddy. Um, I'm actually really feeling this. I feel like this is going to become a favorite. It's really pretty, and I also forgot how much I love this brush and like how big it is because I feel like it gave me the perfect amount of bronzer like in this entire section. So love that. So let's go ahead and move on to some blush. Okay, so I have two blushes today. Actually, this first one is considered a bronzer. This is from Koki. This is their matte bronzer. And this one is in the shade Sunlit Peach. And you guys, ain't nobody using this as a bronzer. This is definitely a blush. This is what it looks like right here, but it is so gorgeous. How pretty is it? It's very pretty. It has a little elephant stamp right in the middle. Actually, to apply my blush today, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques. This is their blush brush. This is what it looks like right here. And this actually used to be my go-to brush to apply my blush and then I started using this one from Morphe this is like an angled blush brush it looks like this um but girl let's try out this one let's see if I still love it so I'm gonna go ahead and just dip into that product whoa I put way too much on the brush guys um we are going to dust that off girl um so yeah I'm gonna dust that off and then let's just apply it to the cheeks that's pretty very pretty and it actually does have a little bit of shimmer in it so that glow that you see right here is actually the bronzer or blush um it's really pretty and it's really eye-catching right here so like when you smile the light really catches this area which girl i love i actually like that a lot that's really really pretty really pretty really like every day it's very warm and juicy and delicious. I love this. So these are super affordable. I think these are about 6 or $7. I know you can get Koki online, obviously, on their website. But you can also find them at Sally's Beauty. So girl, go get you this one in specific. Again, this one is called Sunlit Peach. And she's cute. Okay, so let's move on to highlighter. So for highlight, I have the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Highlighter. Um, this one is in the shade Pearl Crush, and this is what it looks like right here. It's actually really beautiful. I'm really excited to try this. So I've actually been highlighting with blending brushes, if that makes sense. So this one is the Morphe M505 brush. It's nice and precise. Um, I just feel like putting the highlighter like all in this section, sometimes it's not as flattering. So I've been keeping it here in like the high points like where that blush really reflects that's exactly where I want to put it that way as the light hits my face you'll see a nice reflection and it kind of like lifts the uh, cheekbone if that makes sense so I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this and she is pigmented what is up with me today picking up all these products so let's go ahead and hit the cheek so I initially put my brush here because that's where the light is going to hit the most. And then with no more additional product, I go ahead and kind of like blend it out. Like if I were blending, kind of like eyeshadow. Just to make sure there's not just like a harsh line right here, if that makes sense. So I'm going to hit the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, 
this step is not for everyone but I love a highlight on my cupid's bow and then of course I'm gonna go ahead and hit this side and can you guys tell I did my brows different today I actually did kind of like a microblading technique using the Glossier um, brow flick it's like the it looks like kind of like a marker like a felt tip marker and you kind of just make like brow strokes and I think it looks really good it's not as intense as my normal brow. I still love my normal brows. Those I am someone who loves really intense, sharp, carved out brows. Uh, but these are really pretty for like every day when you're doing something like this that's really minimal. So it's cute and I really like the pen too. So I just wanted to tell you guys in case you guys noticed that my brows look a little bit different. So here's the face. The face is basically completed at this point. I think it looks really pretty, very bronzy, very glowy. And girl, this is all drugstore. So for my waterline today, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner, and this one is in the shade Nude. You guys, I love me a nude waterline. I just feel like it makes your eyes look so beautiful. It just opens them up, and it's not as harsh as white. So if you've tried white, because I know usually like that was like recommended back in the day, like it was like you put white in your waterline and your eyes just look shocking. But sometimes it's a little bit too shocking when you use a white. On an everyday basis, if you want your eyes to look more awake, you want your eyes to look nice and wide and open, definitely try a nude liner instead. I've never tried this one before, but we're going to try it now and see if it's worth it. Okay, so can you guys kind of see what I'm talking about? So like this eye here has eyeliner, the nude eyeliner, and then this side over here has no nude eyeliner. So the difference is drastic with just such a small step. And wow, you guys, honestly, I am really surprised at this pencil. It was so creamy. Like you guys saw me apply it. Super creamy, very pigmented. Um, what? Okay, Rimmel. This is really, really nice. I think I'm going to have to try these in other colors. Uh, but again, this one is in nude. Like, I'm obsessed. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so I'm going to keep the lower lash line super, super simple. I'm going to go back in with Pumpkin Pie, which looks like this, the palette that we were using. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here first. And I'm going to just take a flat definer brush and just apply that to my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm actually going to switch my brush really quickly. I'm going to go in with a small fluffy brush just to kind of diffuse that a little bit and kind of blow it out just a little bit more. Okay, so just like that. Super easy, super simple. Um, I do want to add something to the inner corner, so I'm actually going to go right back in with that CoverGirl highlighter, and I'm going to pop a little bit of this just right in the inner corner, just to give the inner corner a little bit of a pop. I feel like it looks a little bit bare, so I'm just going to take some of that and pop that right in the inner corner. And then, of course, we have to add some bottom lash mascaras. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This one's in the shade Black, of course. And I used to be obsessed with this mascara. Was it just me? I feel like I stopped using it because I remember the wand would break off, and I found it so annoying. I've actually been trying a lot of old, like, things that I used to love back in the day now, and I'm just like, wow, these were actually gems at the drugstore. So I love this one because of the brush. Guys, look how perfect this brush is. You guys know that I love my uh, Wet n Wild Mega Length, the one that comes in the purple too, but that is my go-to for my lower lashes. But today I figured we tried something a little bit different. Yeah, it's still an amazing mascara. What I will say is the formula is very watery. Oh, now I remember why I never repurchased it. So this is exactly why. So once you're done with the mascara and you want to put it back in the tube, it's like so hard. Like how are you supposed to get this back in there? Like it just like wiggles around and wiggles around and then Girl, mine used to break off all the time, so now I remember why I didn't use this, um, which sucks, honestly, because it is such a good mascara and the formula is amazing. But we're going to move on to the lips for now. I'm going to be using the Milani Understatement Lip Liner. This is what it looks like right here, and this one is in the number 160. So I actually saw these at my local Walmart recently, and I heard they're newer, so I decided to pick them up. Okay, so here's what the lip liner looks like. Personally, you guys know if you watch my channel, I prefer more of a deeper brown, if that makes sense. Not too dark, like a dark brown. Um, but I feel like this, like, I barely can see it. Like, can you guys see it? I feel like I can't, I can't even see it. So we're going to go ahead and move on to lipstick. 
and this one is from Maybelline this is their matte lipstick and this one is in the shade beige babe and I know that I already love this it is a beautiful color and I love their matte lipsticks they're not drying whatsoever so I really appreciate that in a lipstick so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply some to my lips so this lipstick is very beautiful but you guys know I love super pale nudes. This is why I prefer to use more of a darker lip liner. I actually did pick up a darker shade in the Milani one. This one is in the shade 170. So let's go ahead and see if we can fix up this lip because girl right now this is not it like it looks crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can kind of fix this a little bit. If not then I'll probably just have to completely wipe it off apply this lip liner instead and then go in with the beige babe okay yeah you guys this is not working because the lipstick is so creamy so i'm gonna go ahead and just wipe this off and then we'll do the lips again okay guys so i went ahead and just changed the lip liner applied the same lipstick can you guys see the difference that lip liner makes it doesn't look as pale and it doesn't wash me out as much very pretty i love that lip liner so the face makeup is pretty much done at this point we're gonna go ahead and set the makeup in place i'm gonna be using the l'oreal lumi shake and glow dew mist this is what the mist looks like right here and i'm always here for a glow honey so i'm gonna go ahead and shake this up um, this setting spray is like one of those setting spray that looks like, you know how like the eye makeup remover has like a separation from like the oil and the actual like liquid in there. So this has like that same consistency. So I'm going to just shake it up and let's give it a spritz. I really like the mister on that. It's very, very fine. Very pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and just dry it down. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. A full face of affordable makeup. I'm absolutely obsessed with the way this look turned out. I think it is so beautiful. And most of all, I think the skin looks stunning, you guys. So honestly, do you really need to go out there and spend your coins on high-end makeup? You absolutely do not have to. You can get a bomb look from the drugstore. Of course, you guys know I love my high-end stuff, but I mean, this Makeup look actually came out better than I thought it was. Okay, so I kind of just wanted to recap on everything that we used just so that way you guys can kind of like get an idea of what I think is amazing and you should go out and try yourself and what I think you can kind of pass on. So I first want to quickly just talk about the e.l.f. eyeshadows. You guys, these are so good. Are they like out of this world amazing? No, but for e.l.f.'s price, you guys, $3, like $3 each of these is insane. Insane. like these are really really great for three dollars the quality is really good um, I'm really surprised that elf the eyes look absolutely beautiful and this look was so simple and easy to do so I highly recommend you guys at least pick up one when you go to Target or Walmart um, it's definitely worth trying for three dollars and then I quickly wanted to mention of course the L'Oreal Lumi Glow this is really really pretty and the spritzer on this girl it is so fine you barely feel it touching your skin it's amazing the spritzer on this definitely reminds me of the glow recipe of watermelon glow mist it's really nice I really love that um, the concealer you guys I took forever to try this concealer and it is so so bomb um, I'm definitely gonna be using it more often you guys will definitely see it in more videos this is the elf hydrating camo concealer and always remember girl if you are looking for this specific one please do not get mixed up with the one that has the black cap always get the one that has the white cap so this I absolutely love that is so worth the money um, something else that completely shocked me you guys is this eyeliner from Rimmel this is of course the nude eyeliner it is beautiful you guys like can you guys see how much it just like opens up your eyes it is so pretty so flattering and guys the formula on this pencil like it's super creamy it did not tug on my waterline at all and the pigment was insane so this is a bomb I'm definitely gonna be using this very often because I probably 99% of the time I'm wearing a nude eyeliner in my waterline and then as far as the pixi milky mist this was really really nice too it definitely gave my skin a boost of hydration before applying my primer it was really really nice and i'm really excited to try some more things from pixie this brand is not super affordable i will tell you that you can find pixie at target which is where i actually found this um you guys this spray was 15 dollars which is pretty pricey for a drugstore i'm not gonna lie um so they're not super affordable but they are sold at the drugstore so if you guys wanted to splurge a little bit i definitely recommend trying this because it's really really nice and then of course the foundation that i decided to try which is the l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation is amazing like guys 
amazing. The coverage is there. The staying power is there. They have a beautiful shade range and they're just so, so bomb. So I definitely recommend this foundation if you guys are looking for a good drugstore foundation. And the last thing I wanted to mention is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer, you guys. This bronzer, I love it. Like, I feel like it's not too bronzy. It's not too dark. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It just gave me, like, that sun-kissed glow. Or is it just me? I don't know. But I love this. It's what it looks like again right here. And, of course, Rimmel is super affordable. And I love, love this, you guys. Like, this is really, really nice. It had no patchiness. It blended so well. And I'm obsessed. So, that was pretty much everything for today. I really enjoyed doing this video for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this full face of affordable makeup slash first impression because I actually hadn't tried most of these things before this video. So, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up before you go. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys plan on picking up any of these products that I used today. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!